Yo, what up? It's Aaron Moses. And this video is about hip hop versus rap. Now, I've been reading a lot of, seeing a lot of fucking unneeded posts on Facebook and memes and shit like that. Basically saying that these new rappers are whack and shit like that. And that they don't fucking love the game and all of that. And basically, I mean, I think it goes without saying that they're not, a lot of them are not talented, a lot of them are. And the expectations of rappers, to me, you expect everybody to have a certain love for a certain kind of music when most people don't, most people don't listen to hip hop. First of all, everybody listens to club music and simple shit. And it really doesn't matter that certain people can't freestyle and certain people don't have bars because these type of people have been out since the start of hip hop. Not everybody was Nas, not everybody was Tupac. And certain people just don't have love for the music. You just gotta accept that. They don't have love for the music of hip hop. And honestly, it's two different it's two different genres. You see I do both. I got the lyrical Nas shit, the bars, and I do the club bangers and the shit that you just bump when you're just fucked up and don't give a fuck about lyrics at the time. First of all, if you really are a hip hop fan, you understand that listening to a double entendres and fucking all this wordplay and shit all day, it can get tiring. It can get mentally overstimulating and overwhelming and it gets old sometimes, honestly. And sometimes you just want to hear some simple catchy shit that you can just bounce to. You rarely can do that to what people consider real hip hop. Secondly, I think that because of the drought of what people consider real hip hop, the people who are not talking about Xanax and turning up are overrated. I haven't heard Kendrick Lamar and I haven't heard J. Cole too much, but the fucking no more than five songs that I have heard from them, I wouldn't compare them to Nas and I wouldn't call them worthy to be called fucking legends. So you need to stop hating on these people. What I'm saying is basically because they're not what you consider real hip hop artists. Some people have love for the art. Some people don't. Some people consider it a sport, a way to pay for their fucking people to get out of wherever the fuck they are. Eminem couldn't freestyle for a long time. He sucked. He didn't start freestyling at a good level until 8 Mile, which was like 15 years into his fucking career. Something like that. But if you don't want to listen to it, don't listen to it. You know what a wise man told me? If you don't like it, if you don't want to see it, don't look at it. That's why we have the internet, so you don't have to fucking listen to this shit. Do what I do, download what you want to listen to, put it on your phone, and have that shit ready to go when you go in your car. I think it's all jealousy and fear. Hip-hop's not gonna die. People are gonna just not be interested in fucking lyrics. Eventually, I mean, you gotta know that there's gonna always be a balance. There's always gonna be that person that people call the new Nas and the new Pac or whatever the fuck. There's still people out there that spit bars. But Lil Yachty and fucking whoever the fuck's out right now. Famous Dex, that's just not their thing. And you can't make it something bad. A lot of people don't have love for the fucking fashion business. But they still make hella money off the shit. You're trying to compare Kooji to Ralph Lauren. You're trying to compare FUBU to Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, for some reason, is never gonna die. You go to Marshalls right now. You can get a fucking Ralph Lauren shirt. Plain. Purple with the fucking green horse. Nobody's gonna know that you paid $20 for that shirt at Marshalls. 
because that same shirt is $65 at Macy's right now. Nobody's going to know that you don't really give a fuck about fashion and how much the shit costs because of where you got it from. Let these let these young cats get their money. Let them not give a fuck about hip hop and rap. And like I said, you can consider them losers because they're doing something. They're giving something so much of their time and their energy, and they don't. It's not their purpose, and they don't like it. Some of them, it might be their purpose, and that's why they're doing it. But let the let the fucking people get their fucking money, bro. It's not for you to say that they're good or bad, shit. It's not easy, and you can't do it, and you don't do it. You can. I don't know who the fuck you are watching this, but they already have it hard enough with you making your little weak-ass memes and videos, and this is what happens when you ask a weak-ass rapper to freestyle a whack rapper. By all definition, he's not a whack rapper because he... Is not a hip hop artist. There's a difference between a hip hop artist and a rapper. And he gets his job done. He gets the bitches to take their clothes off and then shake their shit. He might be a whack lyricist, but he's not a whack rapper because he's getting his job done. So, I mean, that's all I got to say. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to this video. Listen to my new music coming out. I got two mixtapes on the way. Uh, I had some features on one. I got a mix that I'm having issues with. I'm trying to get that out. Seven Breasts of Purple is dropping hopefully next weekend. If not, whatever. Uh, I got a horrorcore tape I'm working on. And um, check my fucking music out. If you really hate all these fucking new rappers, check out some of that new Aaron Moses and some of that old Aaron Moses. But that's all I got to say. Peace.